we'll just start with um, a book. Do you know this book? You're in first grade now, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I remember when you I were a baby. I think I remember this. Oh, you, and maybe you don't. It's okay. Sometimes I pull out a book and everyone goes, I know that book. I know that book. And I always ask, is it okay to reread a book that you already know? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Totally. I reread my favorite books all the time. So here's I the first book. I think I remember that one. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see as we go. You know, I started reading a, a grown-up book. I got four chapters in. And then I realized I had already read it. And I stopped reading it because then I, I remember how this ends. Okay, here we go. This book just ate my dog. dog. What? All right. And you know what? I think the author is from England because there are a few words that are a little different than words we might use. This naughty book belongs to the East Branch Library, right? Oh, here we go. This book just ate my dog by Richard Byrne. Someone's calling out, walkies. Do you ever say walkies to Captain? That's like an English, a British English term for let's go for a walk. Let's go. Oh, looks so cozy, like your mom in bed on Mother's Day. Bella was taking her dog for a stroll across the page when something very odd happened. <gasps> what? Bella's dog disappeared. Oh my gosh. What? Look at Bella's it's face. It's in right there. Is it in right there? Oh man. Oh. Hello, Bella. What's up? said Ben. This book just ate my dog. <gasps> you think Ben believes her? Mm. Ben decided to investigate. Oh, he's going to look. What? Right here? <gasps> look at Bella. <gasps> ben. But Ben disappeared too. <gasps> oh, look at the balloon he was holding. Where'd Ben go? In there. He's yeah. in there? Oh, man. What? They, they both keep going. I don't know how she just walked right past it. I'm not sure either. <gasps> Suddenly, help zoomed in. Dog rescue. It's got sirens, flashing lights. What do you think that sounds like? <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it sounds better. Yeah. Suddenly, help zoomed in. Oh. <gasps> then vanished. <coughs> I don't know how that happened. Things Police. were getting ridiculous. Police. Fire brigade. Fire brigade. Oh, oh, like the fire rescue. I'll just have to sort this out myself, thought Bella. But. Uh, where? Oh, did she go in? She was holding that leash, right? And she also burped. That was a good burp. This looks, this is like very big letters, right? What I think it should burp? be a louder burp. What burped? What, did Bella burp? Maybe it was Bella. Sometime later, a note appeared. It read, dear reader, it would be lovely if you could kindly help us. Please turn this book on its side and shake. Bella, kiss. Okay, turn book around. Two side. Okay, two side. And shake. Shake, it. shake, shake myself? No. Oh, shake. <laughs> shake the book. Oh, you're right. Okay, shake, 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 shake. Okay. I don't know if Bella burped or did the And shake, 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 shake. Oh, what? What fell out? Do you remember who that is? Ben? The police? The fire brigade? Oh, yay. And one last wiggle. And I'll wiggle. Everybody reappeared. Oh, thank you. Oh, great. They're out of the book. This book must not have had breakfast either. Oh, and things got back to normal. Wait a minute. Mm. What? Wait a minute later. 
like turn it like this well almost normal wait a minute yeah this is right words you we read them this way dog feet well, wait a minute almost. well almost are things back to normal what what he doesn't even notice. Doesn't even notice. Dear reader, please tell this book to promise not to be so naughty next time you read it. Thank you, Bella. Oh, what? And look, is that upside down too? Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Watch out for this book if you find it at the library, right? I'm going to watch. I'm going to get it there. <laughs> Me too. Eat have, Me some, have some breakfast. Make it eat it. Oh. Um, 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 um. Burp. Oh. Oh goodness, oh goodness. So you had a good breakfast, you told me, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, hmm. Oh here, we'll look at this one. We'll keep the dog theme rolling. And will you excuse me? Will I have a sip <laughs> and a burp? I did a real burp. Was it because I read about a burp? Did you hear that sneezing is contagious? If someone sneezes, it might make someone else I sneeze. Remember this. Do you I remember know this? this? I know this. I know. You know whose favorite book this is? Besides one of my favorites. Do you know the dog that comes to the library? Uh, have you ever seen Daisy? I have. You have. So Daisy uh, comes, this right? This is also one of my favorites. Is it? I've seen it at the school library. Does your school library have it? Oh my gosh, high five for school libraries. School libraries! It's so, it's so weird because he like swallows all these different animals. What? I gotta read it again. All right, here we go. Bark George by Jules Pfeiffer and Daisy the dog who comes to East once a month. She loves this book too. I always have. Aww. Is that how Captain looks at you with his eyes? Hmm, maybe he's a little more expressive. He's a little more cute. He's a little more cute. Bark, George. All right, do you know who this is? Do you remember who Mama. this is? Mama. Mama. So then that's? Baby. Baby George by Jules Pfeiffer. All right, here we go. George's mother said, what did she say? Bark, George. George went, no. Listen to mine. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, that's very realistic. I can do it for you. you okay, thanks. I'll You'll do it. Oh, down. great. Perfect. No, George, said George's mother. Cats go meow. Dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George went quink, quink. What? No, George, said George's mother. Ducks go quink, quink. Dogs go. Arf. Now bark, George. George went. <gasps> Look at his mother. <laughs> no, George, said George's mother. Pigs go. Oink. Dogs go. Arf. Now bark, George. George went. Moo. What a big moo. Look at him standing up. <gasps> George's mother took George to the vet. I'll soon get to the bottom of this, said the vet. Please, bark George. George went. <laughs> the vet reached deep down inside of George and pulled out a cat. <laughs> George looks just as surprised as his, his mother, and the cat looks pretty surprised too. Bark again, George. George went, quink, quink. The vet reached deep, deep down inside George and pulled out a duck. A duck. What? <gasps> oh, man. Bark again, George. George went, quink. The vet reached deep, deep, deep down inside of George and pulled out a pig. <gasps> Look at her ears. <laughs> Bark again, George. George went moo. The vet put on his longest latex glove. Then he reached, there are lots of words here, Ace. Deep, 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 deep down inside of George. I can't look. Oh, goodness. What could he possibly he found pull a out? Moot. He found a cow. He did. Oh, he did. Oh, he and pulled out a cow. So big, he tumbled back. 
Oh, and the mom tumbled back. Oh, bark again, George. George went. Oh, how do these guys look? Yes, so excited, so excited. Oh, George's mother was so thrilled. She kissed the vet and the cat and the duck and the pig and the cow. <sighs> on the way home, she wanted to show George off to everyone on the street. So she said, bark, George. And George went. Hello. <laughs> what? He said hello because he swallowed a person. <laughs> Is that what you think? Well, he did swallow all of those other animals. How do you think those animals got inside him? I think he walked by them and ate them. And he ate them? Maybe just like that book? Maybe he just walked by? Watch out. Okay, keep I an eye out on George. he was part of that book. You think so? I love that idea. Hold on. What do you think his mother's reaction was? This is the... <laughs> I think so. Do you think she took him back to the vet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh After my goodness. After he said hello, how are you? A couple oh, times. Hello. How are you? What if you were walking down the street and a dog greeted you with a hello? <laughs> <laughs> would you stop and chat? Yes. You would? Okay. Um, I'm going to read another book and then we're going to do a silly song that's in Spanish. Meow. Do you speak Spanish? I don't speak Spanish either. I, always... I only know uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. That's about what I know too. And I sometimes learn some songs, some really easy songs for story time. But I always Can explain you it in English? To, to families that I don't speak Spanish because I don't want to misrepresent myself. Okay. Oh, where's Can the book? Can you sing it in the regular language English? Uh, the song? Or the numbers you just counted. Okay, here's a quick one. And then and then we'll we'll do a, a little song. So this one is in English and Spanish. How do you say como se dice? Let's see. All right. Ooh. Oh, does that remind you of any animal? Giraffe. Giraffe. Oh, and there they are, in case you weren't sure. Giraffe. All right. Here we go. Giraffes have really long necks. attention spans. Oh, next, next. All right, here we go. So English, Spanish, and sometimes they're similar. Ooh. Ah. ah. Food. Ooh. Comida. Ooh. There's a theme here one with our book. I get it. One speaks English and one speaks the other. You got it. Spanish. You got it. Hello. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, and this H you don't really say. When I say the word, tell me if it sounds familiar. Hola? Hola. 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 Yeah. Hola. Hola. Good day. Buenos dias. Oh, I missed a page. Water. Agua. Happy, feliz, oh, I love it. Friends, amigos, oh my gosh, I think a friendship was brewing at the water hole. Okay. Okay, they both understand, okay, oh. Party, party, fiesta, fiesta. Have you heard the word fiesta before? No? All right. Only hola. Hola, okay. Okay. Whew, all that partying. Nap. Siesta. Oh. <laughs> That's the end. Giraffe. That's the end, the giraffe. All right, I have some words I might put up on this table. Let's see. So this is the song called El Pato 
Renato. All right. Oh, let me see. See, I'm going to read it slowly. It says, El pato Renato no sabe cantar y todos los días se pone en sellar. That means Renato the duck does not know how to sing and every day he goes to practice. Oh, I might need another sip of my coffee here. Do you have your voice ready? It's on the other side too. I didn't know what kind of table we would have. You like it that way? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the way it actually needs to go. Is that the way it needs to go? it's like this. Well, right. Right, now it works that way. Perfect. Okay, so Ace, I had a duck puppet. I think I left it at my friend's house. So I stopped at the store and I bought a duck. He's not a puppet, though. The puppet is really fun with this song because you can open your hands. And he goes, quack, quack. Exactly. So this is Renato. Yeah. And I'm going to kind of have him wiggle. He's wearing socks. He has a tattoo. Um, and, you know, it's something he doesn't like to share with everyone. It's a seasonal tattoo. I want to see the tattoo. All right, ready? Here's his tattoo. <laughs> what is that? Easter eggs. Easter eggs. He goes, you know, I'm a duck all year round. I, I don't want this to define me. I don't want people to think I'm just an Easter duck. Uh, so what he about said, the other do you side? have any uh, socks, Miss Megan? I said, What's oh, the yeah. Other side? The other side is just his foot, just his regular orange foot. He, have, he did not have them, so everyone sees the could see, yeah, yeah, I thought so, too. chicks. Chicks, how... They lay the eggs so the Easter bunnies can pass them out. That's right. There are lots of eggs to lay, right? Yeah. Did you color any eggs this year? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, so, so he lays the eggs and then the Easter bunnies put them <gasps> Is that what happens, Renato? Look, it's kind of hard because he's not a puppet. Yes, that's what happens. All right, good job. Okay, I'm going to sing. And if you want to read along, here we go. It goes... El pato Renato no sabe cantar y todos los días se pon en sellar. And now he's supposed to sing, right, Renato? You went to music lessons? Yes, okay. Every day? Yes, because it says y todos los días. Every day. Okay, ready? Let's hear him sing. No. <laughs> Try again. No. Oh, was that right? Mm, no. You okay, you try. No. Oh. Is he turning into a cow? I don't know. Is he turning? Sometimes he's shy. Maybe he swallowed a cow. What's in there? All right, I'm going to sing it again. Here we go. El pato Renato no sabe cantar y todos los días se pon ensayar. Vroom, 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 beep, beep, vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> Renato! That's not singing. Oh, <laughs> was it singing? No. All right, let's try again. We'll give him Wait, another let chance. Me do it again. Okay, you try. Let's sing. Singing. Can you sing? Okay, wait, wait. Let me hear. You think. You think. I'll sing this part. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yes, I it sounded he like everything I was going to say it felt like I was at, down at old McDonald's farm. What? Should we give him one more? He's supposed to sing quack 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 but in Spanish sometimes he likes to sing quack 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 quack. I heard him the other day in the shower he was practicing. All right, I'm going to sing this part again. Renato, let's see if you can do it. Okay, ready? El pato Renato no sabe cantar y todos los días se pon en sellar. Beep, 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 beep. No, 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 no. All right, one more time. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Focus. Focus, focus. He's focused. Here we go. Okay. El pato Renato no sabe cantar 
y todos los días se pon ensayar. Cuá, 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 cuá. Oh, this is great. It'll carry through on our, our food theme. And then we'll do three little hot dogs. Do you remember doing that when you used to come to story time? Maybe when we do it, it'll bring back those memories. Okay. The pigeon finds a hot dog. I, lo I love this one. Do you love this one? Yeah, because like, this guy's like, Please, can I have it? I know. I love like, it. No, it's my hot dog. Or it's my hot dog. Do you like hot dogs? Do you? What do you like to eat on your hot dog? Plain? Sometimes I have ketchup, and sometimes I just have cheese on the side. Cheese on the side? Because I don't like my cheese melted. Oh, so I'm having a sleepover with Zoe. What? The Zoe I know? Oh, my gosh. When is Zoe this? Gonna come over today for a sleepover, <gasps> and and she likes hot dogs too. Well, what's for dinner tonight? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. It depends so on when to... she's coming. Okay, sounds she's sounds good. If she's not here at, before dinner, and if she's before dinner, hot dogs. <gasps> <laughs> oh, hot dogs! You know, I I love a hot dog too. I like the I hot dogs that come with out. cheese. Oh, that's all right. Me. You can pet it. Crazy hair, don't care. All right, are you ready, Renato? Here we go. The pigeon finds a hot dog. You think he's actually the one that's asking for the hot dog? <gasps> he could be. Do you want to read the voice of the, yeah, of the duckling? Pigeon finds a hot dog with special guest star, the duckling. <laughs> Who wrote this story? Do you know who wrote it and made the Mo pictures? Willem. Mo Willems. I love Mo Willems. I love Mo Willems too. I'm so happy there's a Mo Willems. All right, here we go. The pigeon finds a hot dog. Words and pictures by Mo Willems. Here we go. <gasps> flap, 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 flap. Ooh, a hot dog. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, oh, delicious, delicious. <gasps> Ah! Scooty, 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 scoot, scooty, scoot. May I help you? Oh, 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 oh. Is that a hot dog? Not a hot dog. My hot dog. Oh, oh. Ah! Uh, I have a question. Oh, oh, he was just about to put it in. I've never had a hot dog before. What do they taste like? Is he rolling his big eye? Oh, man. Mm. <laughs> well, they are a taste sensation. Each morsel is a joy, a celebration in a bun. <gasps> is he taking notes? <laughs> taste sensation. <laughs> a joy, a celebration in a bun. I love that. A fiesta. Yes. If you've never experienced the splendor of a hot dog, you should really wait a second. Hmm. Hmm. So many questions about the hot dog. This hot dog is mine. I found it. Of course. Enjoy. Go right ahead. Hmm. <laughs> Go ahead. I like how the ducklings just staring up, feet flapping. Ah, uh, what do you say that tastes like chicken? <gasps> Would you say it tastes like chicken? I'm trying to eat here. Oh, can you believe this guy? Wah, wah. Why do you think the duckling keeps interrupting? Because he wants the hot He dog wants to. And he doesn't want to say it. He doesn't want to say it, right. I'll just ask. It just tastes like a hot dog, okay? Okay, okay. Whew, whew, whew. So it doesn't taste like chicken then? Oh, for Pete's sake. Hey, I'm a curious bird. That's it. So loud. Look at the eye. He can't. 
I have the pigeon drive. I have the pigeon drive the book. <gasps> you have that book. Does he get angry in that story? Yeah, he's like, I sometimes say when I'm super silly, I'm like, um, let me drive the super tiny book. <gasps> let me drive it. Let me drive it. No. Yeah, he's pretty uh, he actually, frantic here. He does that, like, but he, you can see, like, him, and he's, like, all over the place. He's all, he's all over the place. <laughs> That's it. He's so upset, right? So many questions about the hot dog. Is that in all of them? Here he goes. Is that in all of them? It's in many of them. Like the bath one. Do you know that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's get back to this one. Here we go. Oh, here he goes on a rant, right? It's my hot dog, right? Mine, mine. I'm a curious bird. What do they taste like? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. This is unbelievable. Finders keepers is what I say. I can't take it anymore. What am I supposed to do? Just eat it without even getting interrupted. Just eat it. Just go um, 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 and don't even listen to that little bird, that tiny little cute duckling with the big eyes looking up or at you. Or even give it to him. <gasps> oh. I think I've got an idea. Oh. You know you're a pretty smart bird at that thing. Mmm, beads, mustard. Mm. Oh, what do they do with a hot dog? He split it. He, they did, they split it in two. Does it taste better when you share? I think, I think so too. Mm. He should, he, he should put ketchup and he should put mustard. Right. Because he's yellow like mustard. He is yellow like mustard. And he should put ketchup because I like ketchup. Because you like ketchup. I like ketchup too. Hmm. I will put my ketchup on my hot dog because I sometimes do that. <gasps> yeah. The pigeon ate it. The, the yeah. Pigeon sometimes it's on the end papers, right? There's something. The pigeon ate it. Yeah.